Hey there, Tad Hargrave from Marketing for Hippies. Uh, I got a little video in my living room about pricing. Quick thought, uh, this came up for me a few days ago and I noticed I've been saying it a lot so I thought I'd put a video about it. There are two steps to figuring out your price. Number one, the facts. Number two, the feelings. So the facts are, uh, what's your rent? What are your monthly expenses? How much do you need for food? Uh, you know, the basics. Uh, do you have an employee? How much do they cost? Do you have online expenses, you know, with your email system or your website? How much does that cost? So that's the first thing is really just getting the facts, the basics. Uh, what is the context uh, for me making money? And a lot of people, I think, when they approach pricing, lose track of that. And, and they start in the wrong place. They start with their feelings, and their feelings can be all over the place and not necessarily accurate. Because for a lot of people, there's that desire to keep giving, and there can be an overgiving and a sort of guilt if I'm not giving and, and etc. So if you start with the feelings, you'll tend to, for a lot of people in the holistic scene and the green kind of conscious scene I see, that's the tendency, yeah, is to overgive starting with the, the feelings. But if you can start with a fact, it's a much more grounding place to be. So sometimes just a little spreadsheet, just a little list of how much do I really need to have every month? And here's the reality check. It's often more than you think it is. When you look at you know a debt and paying that off, how fast you want to pay it off. Um, when you really look at your monthly expenses, maybe more than you think. So you start with that, the reality check. And the second is the feelings. And um, the feelings piece is where you really just tune into what is the price that feels right, given the reality, given the facts. So there was a great, uh, I'll put a link to a video that a colleague of mine did about uh, how to raise your fees, but where she speaks about this idea of starting with facts that I think you might like. And the second I'll put a link uh, somewhere around here uh, from Mark Silver about this idea of resonant pricing. But here's the, the short version of it, and I would check out the link because it's a little more in depth. But once you have the facts out there, and by the way, facts also include your lifestyle. You know, how many hours a day do you actually want to be working? How many workshops a day do you want to do? How much do you want to be traveling? That's Those are part of the facts to get really clear about because that's going to inform your pricing. Once that's all on the table, you sit down and you just think, okay, so how much, let's say, do I want to charge per hour if you're trying to figure that out? You can start with $1, too little. $1,000, too much. $50, too little. Meaning uh, you, can, you resent it. It just doesn't feel right. $500, ugh, too much. $100. That feels okay, but not quite right. Three hundred dollars, uh, a little too much. Hundred fifty, two hundred, hundred seventy-five, hundred fifty. Right, and you figure it out, and you just land on the sweet spot. And that it's better to start uh, charging an amount that feels right for you, that you feel really aligned with, that feels very clear for you, than to charge an amount that you think you deserve, or in, in any of these. There's a point where, yeah, it's good to raise your prices and maybe stretch a little bit. But when people start charging a price that feels either way too much or way too small, that causes trouble. They go, they're off rhythm. As soon as they go to talk about their business and the pricing, people can feel it. Something is off. Something is awkward. Or they don't even talk about it because if it's too much, they're scared of offending people. Or everyone's going to see they're a fraud. Or if it's too little, they don't want to mention it because... They don't want to do the work for that price, actually. They resent it, so they don't mention it. So, to recap, you start with the facts. What are my monthly expenses? What's the kind of lifestyle I want to have? How often do I want to be working? What kind of work do I want to do? Where do I want the money to come from? You get that. And then second, once that's on the table, you check in with your feelings, kind of going back and forth. And again, I'll put the links here so you can check out more. But that's my thought on... Uh, for the day on pricing. Take care.